Hey, I'm Mehul Harry. We're here at HTML5 DevCon 2014 in San Francisco. And I'm here with Lisa DeLuca. See that correctly? Now, Lisa, for those who don't know you, can you talk to you? Can you introduce yourself a little bit? Too? Sure. Yep, I'm uh, Lisa Sikachaluka. I work for IBM. I'm part of our software group and technologies and standards organization. Um, we, we do a lot with cloud, um, and a lot of the stuff with cloud naturally goes well with mobile. So I'm, I've got the privilege to work with Apache Cordova open source technologies. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really cool. yeah. How does IBM do that? So basically, you're saying IBM is kind of funding it in a way, or basically dedicated resources toward making Google better? Yeah, I think there's uh, 11 or so companies that contribute to the Apache Cordova. So these are just people who want to help out um, make the community better. A lot of Apache Cordova is built on some web technologies and standards, as well as WPC standards. So we try to align like camera and geolocation and all those with the that go along with the WPC. So I mean, cares a lot about that. Um, having having standards in our products helps a lot with getting customers. And, you know, like, bringing in people on. It's just a trust thing. That is kind of big blue. Yes. Very nice. Uh, now explain for those who don't know, what is Cordova? Sure. So Cordova it provides almost a bridge to the native layer. Um, so developers who know web standards like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, they can write uh, their web applications just like they normally do with normal tools and deploy that to a native um, environment like an app store. So you can deploy um, and have your app available for download from like the Google Play Store or the, the Apple App Store. Well. Right. Now what about the, the library? What part of Cordova does the, the access to the native resources? Is, 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 does it have a name or is it, is it just Cordova, part of Cordova itself, right? Because there's whole naming of Cordova and Cordova yeah. and Adobe. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of confusing. So, uh, Phone Gap was the original name. It was a um, 2008 name. Um, and then um, a, a, a Adobe acquired it. So um, when Adobe acquired it, they donated it back to Apache um, part of open standards. So at that point, um, Adobe went their own way. So they took Phone Gap to name the brand name, and they built a separate tool on it. So there's like the build tool for Phone Gap, and that's what most developers know as Phone Gap. So Cordova is the underlying piece of Phone Gap, so that's why a lot of internet Happens, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Okay, thank you very much. Now, um, you're doing a talk here today. What is your talk? Uh, it's an introductory Apache Cordova, so I will talk through the history a little bit. How it came about, um, show a quick demo of uh, command line, like, yeah. command line. So, in version 3.0 of Cordova, um, there's just a command line applied feature, so it's really easy for developers to spin up a command line and you know, write it a quick app on um, that platform. So, there was no command line interface before? Okay. It's crazy. I had to wait, wait till version 3. Yes. Um, and so, and obviously Cordova runs. What is, what is the most useful thing people actually do? Do they make like a headless build system with this uh, thing now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, most developers will use this. It's easy. A lot of developers write on a Mac and the command line is really easy. It's like a node package manager and you can download Cordova. So you install that across your whole system, and then from anywhere you write Cordova, create, name of your app, and it's super easy to get up and running. You can also use IDE or you're stuck with proprietary software. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. So now, uh, with version three, is there any other new features in uh, Cordova that are interesting? Yeah. So before um, Cordova was packaged as a renewable file, and now each of the individual pieces of the plugins are available separately outside the core. So as a developer, you can pick and choose which pieces that you want to use. So if you are only using camera, you don't have to be, have a heavy application. You don't have to have geolocation. You don't have to have all the other plugins that are that are core, but not very nice. You've got a lighter package uh, JavaScript file that you have to load. Now, what about, is there a web interface that they provide for that as well? Or is it all the command line? It's all the command line. Oh, okay. All right. Very nice. Um, and finally, give us a little history of Google. Right? How did it come about? Come about? How does it change if you don't mind? Yeah, so it's, it's pretty recent. Um, it hasn't been around that long. It really came as a need that developers didn't want to have to program and learn all these native things. Yeah, you don't want to have to, as a developer, you don't want to have to go and learn all these different things. And as a company, it's expensive. You have to hire different teams to come in and do your Apple and iOS and all that. 
all the different platforms yes. that you would have to know. So with Cordova, that need is to just handle the right ones and you can deploy multiple applications, multiple platforms. And you can also maintain one post stream. So you're not, you have this new feature you want to add, you do it one time, and then you can deploy all the it wasn't. It was started by uh, a few individuals. It wasn't necessarily started by a dude, right? Right. Like the Toby. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I think it was part of some uh, actors. Uh, some I, I have to go back and mm -hmm. exactly where it came about, but I believe it was a group of hackathon type of situation. They hackathons were, are awesome. Yeah. So why you should do hackathons, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can make the next one gap. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Now, anything else uh, people should know? Do you want to promote anything that you have? Yeah. 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 I do have Twitter. It's at LisaCat, S P A C A T. Um, and then LisaCat.com is my website. As far as Cordova goes, I think the future of it is going to be on their party plugins. Right. So if you go to plugins.cordova.io, you can see all the list of uh, my plugins. So there's over 200. And 24 last week that the plugin has been written, so it adds a lot of features for developers to come in and quickly plug in. Awesome. Thank you very much, Lisa. We appreciate it.